Club. So what is going on everyone? It is Kieran the Barber here and I am back with another video. Um, this seems to be um, like an ongoing thing. So today we are transforming Pau's hair from um, it just looking out of place, out of shape to a sharp skin fade. Also going into detail with a beard and stuff like that. So to get started I use my T outliner with the GTX blade. I've been showing you guys this um, for the last couple of months now. Um, same blade, same tool, and you can just see how smooth and sharp that is. That doesn't get any of the hair clogged in it, that just takes that hair straight off. It is an absolutely amazing piece of kit. But you can only do this with the GTX blade on, because if you try and do it with the T outliner blade, it'll work at first, but because it is um, a short tooth, the hair will eventually get clogged in it. So only use the T-Outliner blade for outlining and stuff like that. Um, and you can use the GTX blade for literally anything else. It's, it's a masterpiece. And this have done themselves. This blade has been out for years, but in the UK it's only just really recently been re like released. So currently loving life right now. I can get them skin fades that the Americans do um, with these clippers. Just because it's so much easier just to take out bulk. I haven't done a pompadour in ages, by the way. I just thought I'd say that um, I was looking and looking and looking and when Pav walked in, I was like, yes, a pomp, a pomp. I want to film a pomp because I've been in the UK currently. It's like crops, textured quiffs, bald head and beards, um, buzz cuts. Pomps are out of the minute. I'm the, I'm the only one with a pomp. It looks like I'm the last one standing. Me and Pav. So um, Pav's... Um, having this pomp as well we tried to crop on pav i thought it suited him he wasn't a fan he found it very foreign um, and hard to get used to so he went right back to the pomp using my andis nation clippers now just did a 1.5 guard skipped the one guard went straight down to the half guard and then from the half guard i'm gonna go straight down to blade open and then closed um, and then with um, my Andis Nation clippers because they're a fade blade I'm just gonna rub against it and then afterwards I'm gonna use my US pros because they have the bevel blade um, and my US pros aren't um, gapped so it gives me a wider half it gives me a longer half essentially and that's brilliant for when I'm just like finishing off them little pieces of hair Everyone goes crazy about gapping clippers and don't get me wrong, it's really good to gap, gap clippers because you can get the zero guard looking absolutely perfect um, and you can get the, um, the hair really short, really sharp, but it's also good, really, really good to have a pair of clippers that are not gapped and are probably slightly out because then when blending in, um, let's say, a half to a one, you have that half elongated slightly so it's so much easier to blend if you've got that gap it's just going to take that half into that one so short so I, I would recommend having a pair which are gapped and having a pair which are ungapped and it just makes life so much easier i had um someone in my comments in my last video and they said um your your fades don't get as close as mine i'll, I'll be really honest i haven't um <laughs> I haven't used them for um, fading as such. I just I just pulled pulled them straight out of the bag and started using them myself. So on my last video, you should go check it out just quickly while I'm just fading around this bit, doing the same process on the sides. Um, my last video, I stated that where, th where is everyone from? 
got Mark Conway from Ireland and he says I've been following you from near the beginning and you were a big influence on to me to actually get an education into barbering which I have done and I still watch your videos for tips I'm going to get them and this nation fade clippers I told you about them fade clippers um, they take the line out it's good to have you back on YouTube thanks Mark I really really appreciate your comments trust me like these comments are mean the world to me seriously man you guys keep me going Mike, many congrats on your marriage. Thanks, Mike. Kieran, I'm s I'm from sunny Manchester. Yeah, right, it's me. I'm from Manchester. It's a terrible Manchester accent. I went to I went to Pro Manchester a few years ago. That was quite pretty fun. I love this cut at the moment. Sporting it myself. See, crops are in. Um, it's great for hiding and receding hairline. Some some are, some aren't. Um, Alessandro Reyes. I hope I'm saying that right. I'm from Belize. I don't know where Belize is. Please, someone in the comment section let me know. And I'm here because of a Richmond. Oh, see? A Richmond's even spotting me over some followers. Appreciate that, Richmond. Um, great video, man. Would love to have you on the Dyson hairdryer. Trust me. Um, over the next course, the next few weeks, um, I'm going to be whacking out that review on that Dyson hairdryer. Because um, it is it's a good hairdryer. It just... I need to tell the truth to people about what it's about. Um, Soliva Silva No me gusto este corte I don't know what that means I hope I said it right though <laughs> um, Jessica Rodriguez is from Janiel Gine I don't know what that is either um, Abd Rahman I don't know why but I think I'm the only one from Malaysia I've been following you uh, since early this year for Asian haircuts, your tutorials are the best for me. And he's got like a jujitsu from sign. Sick. Abd, you're awesome. Um, Ethan Rogers. Yo, I'm from the States. I'm an amateur barber, mainly cutting friends hair. Um, I'm a new subscriber, but was pumped when you started making videos again. I just want to say your videos are great. You should keep them coming. Oh, man. Like, reading these comments, man, is getting me absolutely gassed. Even like, uh, like gassed means like pumped. So I'm getting super gassed. Carlos Santiago from Connecticut, USA. Just started following you. Always wanted to learn more. When it comes to barbering, it's a hobby of mine for the past 15 years. Um, Muskook, he's from Sweden. From Whitney, Texas. LA bro. Alder Martinez. Darren from Switzerland. Um, yeah, so it's all good, man. Thank you for all your comments, man. I really appreciate that. So now we got into the fade. Um, just um, pretty much going around them edges, sharpening Pav's hairline. And when Pav has his pomp, he has to have his hairline sharp. Um, I just think on some people it looks nice. Some people like, for me personally, I have my hairline natural. Um, just because I prefer it natural, it suits me better. But Pav likes his looking nice and fresh. When people look at Pav, it looks like he's had a haircut. And that's that's what you want, man. That's what you want. You want to look going out, looking like the barbershop, looking like how you want to look, not like how others think you should look. So if Pav wants it, that's what he's going to get, and he's happy with it. And he feels comfortable, and that's the main thing. See, I don't even use the full shavers on Pav's hair. Um, on his hair, I do. I do on his beard in a minute, but. I don't use it on his hair, but look how close that gets, man. That looks like that's been shaved by foils. That's smooth as butter, his fade. Like, seriously smooth. <laughs> that boy is always laughing in my chair. Always happy. Fact about Pav, he owns four slash five Domino Pizza restaurants in Ellsbury. <gasps> a joke, it's not Domino. He has four or five Papa John's. He'll hate me when I said that. <laughs> yeah, he has four or five Papa John's round um, England. He's Mr. Papa John's himself. He's the Mexican Papa John. He's legit. Oh, look how sharp they get, man. That. Look at that. <laughs> That is super sharp. And also, just quickly, I fiddled around my camera today, this morning, for about 20, 25 minutes. 
and I was like, what, what is going on, man? I see all these barbers shit, and their cameras are white. Like, they, they take all the warmth out, which is sick, and that's what I wanted. Couldn't do it, couldn't do it. Looked at all the settings in and out. I was like, how does this work? I have no clue. Like, what am I doing? I'm not a camera expert. I've got a decent lens, but I'm not a camera expert. <laughs> all of a sudden, I pressed the button, and it went, like, white. And I was like, oh, leave it. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. <laughs> And now my camera looks for filming it just looks so much better it looks so much more clear it just looks so good I'm, I'm buzzing I'm gonna film everything now everything so while I'm just edging out and lining this beard I want to talk about about Instagram um, and stuff like that. who who follows me on Instagram my Instagram is at Kieran the Barber same as my youtube um so get on there check out my other stuff i do a lot of like short videos on there educational videos i also want to talk about like barbers who inspire you and stuff like that like who seriously inspires you i have a lot of people that inspire me like um at the moment i have a post that says tag free people tag free barbers that inspire you um one of them has to be patman barber give patman barber a uh, follow is at patman underscore barber his work is sensational my second one has to be chris bossio chris bossio talks to me a lot like it's like i don't deserve his time and he like he talks to me a hell of a lot he's such a like humble guy he's so nice and um he helps me out on youtube man every every like i'm like chris man i'm stuck i'm lost and he's like hey listen like try this try this try this and you think people would be there going now nah, don't like i want youtube for myself and the, the guy's an absolute legend <clears throat> um and then for photography work you guys need to check out um at r dot braid and that's rob braid man his his stuff is sensational his well his photography work is absolutely amazing like you can't be it i don't think there's anything better and you got the likes of like Joss and Monica, Alan Beek, um, uh, Andrew Joss Hare, people like that. They're absolutely amazing, like so good. Quickly, this Chevette that I've been using, this razor, this cutthroat. Bluebeard's Revenge. Bluebeard's Revenge cutthroat. I've been using that for, since I started YouTube, which is about five years now. I, that's my same razor. I love my baby. Um, I nearly had it stolen off me once at a hair show because I was saying how good it was. Come back, gone. Oh, fuming. Luckily, someone found it for me. Never said where it actually went, but someone did. Someone went, had a word with a few people, and then all of a sudden it was found, which was great. Um, going back to Instagram, how like currently, um, there's a guy on there called at the pissed off barber, right? <laughs> The guy's a legend. Um, and I don't know how many people now have gone, Kieran, are you the pissed off barber? Kieran, are you the pissed off barber? Like, dude, I sound pissed off when I talk. Like, I'm not pissed off and I don't slay anyone, man. Like, everyone has their own thing. They do what they want. And, man, I, I've got enough love for this industry. I'm not the pissed off barber. It's funny that people think that, though. But, yeah, the pissed off barber's funny, man, because he does... <laughs> He just says it as it is. So if you get a chance to go on um, go on Instagram, follow the pissed off barber because he's 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 kind of funny man. He ruins people like it's it's funny. It's banter man. At the end of the day, and her no one. He's just having a laugh. He hasn't got me yet, which I'm quite worried about. <laughs> um, but yeah, nah. So using a bit of sea salt spray on Pav's hair, not a crazy amount, just just a little bit, just misting over that. And then we're gonna blow dry right from back. Now, the reason I blow dry Pav's hair from back to front is that Pav has like 15 crowns. I'm slightly exaggerated. <laughs> He's got about three, three crowns. He's the only person I know with like a triple crown. It's horrible. Everyone's like, how do you get Pav's hair so perfect? I'm like, it's taken me years to get Pav's hair like this. So it's, yeah, start from back and work your way from back to front. Just take your time. I'm having to use a really small roller brush on Pav's hair. I don't use um, usually just a normal brush, just because a roller brush you can just roll his hair up and then it just it just rolls back perfect. And the sea salt spray helps it in place. As you can see on my Dyson, I'm only using one heat as well. I'm not using a lot of heat at all. I don't want to heat the hair up. 
I want to dry it but I want to keep it as cool as I can because I want it to sit in a like sit in an exact place I think that's one of my tricks of blow drying is when you blow dry don't use full heat like I, I never ever really use full heat I, I use like one or I might take a couple minutes longer ain't hurting no one but I find it just puts it into place like real real smooth real properly check that quiff out Jesus that quiff is looking big loving it and then onto the bad boy product so we're gonna be using um i can use a, a very like different product in pav's hair because his hair just like holds products so well but we're gonna use a bit of mitch reformer just because it's such a legit product like i love the mitch stuff at the minute it's absolutely amazing um so you need a five pence piece bit rub it into your hands and then just brush it all the way through using them fingertips getting into all that hair pomp comb separating everything making that look nice and smooth jeez look at that pump look at it oh that's a good pump a little bit of hairspray just to finish just to give it a little little bit of shine And voila, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. And just, yeah, subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a thumbs down if you don't like it. Um, either or, watch it. Um, and give me your opinion. It's been lovely talking to you all. And I'm glad I'm back making videos. This is so fun. Um, and I shall see you all again, maybe in the next few days. Peace.